Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com and in this video I'm going to be answering a frequently asked question and that is what is frequency response and how do you set that up? So we're going to get into that. My name is Jonathan Price, owner and operator of downforsoundshop.com and this YouTube channel which is two of the fastest growing things in car audio. If you will, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you know every time we drop a video and you'll get it sent to your inbox and you'll be able to check it out first. All right, so let's get into this video on what is frequency response. If you've ever purchased some speakers, whether it be tweeters or mids or subwoofers, you'll see usually on there if, it, if it's a decent product. Uh, if you look on the side of ours right here, we'll just use our Downford Sound D4S60 V2s. You'll see right here where it says frequency response, 120 hertz to 16,000. What does that mean? So that's what we're going to be going over in this video. And then for also reference on these tweeters right here, if you look, you'll see frequency response on here, 4,000 to 20,000. So obviously a tweeter is going to be different. It looks totally different and it is totally different than a mid-range. So we have these two different speakers right here. And in front of me I also have a graph that shows you the frequency response for a D4S60 V2 right here. So right before 50 hertz right here, you can see the speaker starts coming alive, if you will. So it has a sharp ramp up to about 100 hertz right here, and then it starts to flatten out on the top. So it's gonna keep this a really nice uh, response from 100 hertz all the way over to uh, about 10,000, and then it starts having a roll off into about 18,000. We're still holding a good amount of volume here or sound. So that's on our speakers, we have a very wide frequency response on there, which is, we're calling it 120 hertz all the way up to 18,000. And that's a very wide frequency response for you. Uh, a lot of people use our mids uh, and don't even use tweeters because of the wide frequency response. But if you want to get the ultimate in the sound uh, range, if you will, in the bandwidth of the sound, you would want to use a tweeter because a tweeter is going to pick up, what was the uh, numbers right here? 4,000 to 20,000. So where you see, because every speaker has its strong points and the mid-range is gonna have its strong point from around 120 hertz over to about 10,000, but you see where it starts having that roll off. And that's where the tweeter is gonna really shine at because its frequency response is 4,000 to 20,000. So you would have a crossover, uh, when you set your crossovers for your tweeters, you could have them where, say for instance, you wanted to have your uh, mids playing very strongly from 150 hertz to say 10,000 and then you would have them roll off if you wanted to there and then for the tweeters you would have them set to where uh, they would obviously play very strongly from 4,000 all the way up to 20,000 so that's gonna where your mid starts to taper off your tweeter is gonna come in and take over the high end side of it so that's how you get that perfect blend of uh, frequency response or your range and your sound and obviously they make different speakers for almost anything. A lot of people like strictly mid bass. So you'll have like a six inch or an eight inch or a 10 inch mid bass uh, speaker that's gonna, the graph on that would look something like, right here it'd be really strong, like right before probably 40 hertz it started coming up really strong like this, but it would only go over to probably about 500 and it would like fall back off right here because it's strictly if you were talking about strictly a mid-range, uh, or sorry, a mid-bass speaker, it would have a big peak right here, but it would be very strong in that range from say 50 uh, to 500 for a, a strictly a mid-range. And then you have your subwoofers that are obviously gonna be picking up your very low end sounds from say 10 hertz up to 100 hertz. They're not gonna play something a tweeter's gonna play for obvious reasons. They look totally different, they do totally different things. That's why it's good to have a subwoofer a mid and a tweeter because you're getting that perfect blend and you're covering the whole bandwidth of sound with the three different speakers and sometimes people have four ways five ways if you get into some uh, crazy sound quality setups they'll have three ways uh, four ways five ways like all kinds of different sizes of speakers so you can 
have very nice dialed in um, frequency ranges with each size of the speaker and you get it it's even more colorful if you will anyway sorry this has gotten lengthy but I was trying to share as much as I could if you have any questions pertaining to core audio be sure to drop them in the comment section below and if I see them I'll try to answer them for you until next time we'll see you What's happening guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price and also down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.